BYU Hawaii students and faculty members participated recently in a blood drive. The ball started rolling on Thursday, September 20th, when representatives from Blood Bank of Hawaii visited BYUH to encourage students to donate and answer any questions they might have. Make sure you've had something to eat and you've had plenty to drink. Uh, we ask that you drink two liters of water in the 24 hours prior to coming. Lots of reasons for that. It makes your actual blood, your actual blood donation faster. It also makes your veins a lot more plump. For the nurse. Each pint that we get, we break into three different components. Each pint that someone get, donates can help to save three different lives. And where does the blood go? Actually, more than one third of our blood supply actually is going to cancer patients. Um, another quarter goes to open heart surgery, another quarter to surgery patients, and actually only 10% of the blood that's donated goes to accident and trauma victims. And is there a specific type of blood that you guys are short on or need more of? That's such a great question. You know what, at Blood Bank of Hawaii we need 200 pints a day and of those 200 pints we need every blood type every day. Just because your blood type may be more popular it probably means that more people need your blood if, just as with if your blood, pipe, your blood type is less popular um, still people are going to be needing your blood. Students were also asked to register as bone marrow donors to help people suffering from such illnesses as Duncan's disease. The reception was hosted by BYUHSA officers. Yeah, BYUHSA, so we are really focused on service. And so, yeah, we are doing uh, this blood drive uh, twice uh, a semester or sometimes three times. Healthy snacks were served to help students increase their iron levels. Low iron is one of the most common reasons that people interested in donating blood are turned away. The blood drive itself began on Monday, September 24th in the ballroom. Aloha, I'm Shem Greenwood with the Kealakai Newscast, and we are here in the ballroom with Blood Bank of Hawaii, saving lives. And we, let's get a shot of your proud red armband. Save some lives right there. Fantastic. Do you come to donate blood often? Um, I do. Actually, every time I'm able to, after every eight weeks, I am in the office, so. Oh, this is my second time. My first time was in April, so. I'm going to try to get 100 pints so I get my picture on the wall in the blood bank. Wow! Uh, what's your personal motivation for giving blood? Um, just to help people and save lives, I guess. Knowing that I can help other people and hopefully when I need to give, when I need blood, then they'll have my type of blood so that I can live. I actually like to give blood because I like it when they stick needles in my arm. Um, back when I was a younger kid, my, one of my cousins, he had a brain tumor. And um, my whole family then decided for, for him, they'd go and donate blood and see if that would help him to, I don't know, help him recover. Unfortunately, he did pass away, but ever since then, like, I was too young to ever donate blood for him. But now, seeing that and having that personal experience, I do it for all those also in the hospital and the need for blood. What advice would you have for anybody who's never given blood before but is thinking about it? Um, don't be scared about the needles and eat a lot of food and drink a lot of water before you come. Get a lot of sleep and get something to eat because you probably feel kind of nauseous after. Um, I was terrified to donate blood the first time and you know what, I donate blood now uh, because it makes me feel good. It's a great way to give back to the community and help to save three lives. Um, you know what, it's not painful. The most painful part is the finger stick. You never know when you're going to need blood, and if you can make it through that first finger stick, you're golden. You're going to be able to donate that one pint of blood, and like I said, it's going to help to save three lives. How else can you help to save three lives in one hour? At the end of the day, Blood Bank of Hawaii collected 40 units of blood from the campus community, potentially saving 120 lives. In addition, 19 of the donors had never given blood in Hawaii before. While giving is its own reward, being a donor has many advantages. How are the snacks? They're awesome. <laughs>